one of the issues universities have to confront is changing the incentives for publishing in closed access journals. So uh, more emphasis in promotion and re re hiring, recruitment, retention, promotion and annual reviews needs to be placed uh, on the merits of publishing in open access journals and making data available in open access databases. And this is the way of the future and I think academic leaders and academic supervisors and academic line managers need to pay particular attention to fostering a culture that supports an emphasis on open access. There's a clear obstacle in open access publication in, in that the quality of the peer review is um, it's hard to manage, harder to manage. And I, I think the answer to having maintaining quality peer review is um, to have everybody who peer reviews a paper be identifiable. And wherever possible, if you contribute to peer reviewing papers for journals, uh, I would suggest make your identity known to the uh, authors of the paper so that the community of scholars can, can know each other rather than have this um, obscure person reviewing your paper behind a screen, if you like. The other option is that with, with the funding bodies that, that are wanting this information out there, then perhaps there's a way that, that it's, it's, some, it's a bit of a hybrid model where they're the ones that are actually paying the journals as opposed to the individual researchers paying the journals to have their work published. So one of the things that I've been exploring at my journal is um, free to read. And uh, while open access, you can go in, you can download it, and it's a PDF that you can even share with your colleagues because it's open access. Free to read is just, you're able to log on, you're able to just go onto the website, read the paper on the website. You can't download it, but the information is all there to share. So this is another kind of way that we're thinking about access to research in the region, about the region, for the region. So there's an increasing number of high quality open access journals available in, in most disciplines, uh, in the spectrum of ac academic disciplines that are available. An increasing number of these are academic led journals that are run from uh, academics and others devoting their time to the editorial and production processes. Many of these journals are entirely open access with no fees to publish in them. And I guess that's the uh, ultimate endpoint that we don't want to have any barriers for access for uh, both publishing in open access journals or for others accessing the results of, of that research.